All right, so we're live on stream, and we're messing around with the new Chandler, of course. I just did my Heroes Arena with him, and it worked out well because he's stat boosted. But if you don't know what the character does, he is a he can be a backliner. We're going to use him in the front because I want to see his stance work and everything. Uh, maybe we'll use him in the backline in the next video. But uh, if you want to be part of the stream next time, you'll be in the chat up there. Feel free to subscribe, come by and hang out with us next time. We typically do streams whenever the banners drop on Global. But uh, his passive is, if all allies, including the secondary slot here, are all demons. Demon allies' damage taken decreases by 30% and their attack-related stats increase by 15%. In addition, if the hero is assuming a stance, demon allies' crit resistance and crit defense increase by 30%, which is pretty good. He has a two-turn stance at level 1. This is the Valentine's Day Deanne stance. I initially thought that this was going to be uh, like the Cha uh, not Chaos Arthur, but the Excalibur Arthur stance. And I wasn't very hyped about that, but now that I know that this is the Valentine's Day Deanne one, it's actually pretty decent. Um, at level 1, this is just an AoE skill, but at level 2 it depletes ultimate move gauge, and then it depletes 3 at level 3. Uh, his Holy Relic, which I haven't used this in a while, so I'm just going to refresh myself, removes debuffs from self when using a stance skill, decreases damage taken by 30% for 2 turns, and increases HP-related stats by 20%, which is actually pretty good. He has an AoE. We're going to use Gelda as a stat buffer on the team, so we're both, we're going to basically just, we can either stance up turn one, which I think is the play, because we're testing him out, or if we wanted to go aggressive with it, we could use the Chandler AoE, Gelda AoE, and then Melee AoE to grab stacks. So, uh, I am using CC food, and that's bad, because we are getting out CC'd right here. The Sins team uh, and the Human team both might have better CC than than the, the demon team right now, especially because Chandler is a base old Chandler, so his stats are not so good. So I'm not very big fan of that. Okay, not doing too, too much. That's quite a bit. Okay, he has triple AoE. All right, very fantastic uh, showcase from the very get-go here. The 30% damage reduction he's giving the team I don't think it did so well. <laughs> uh, that is a bit unfortunate. I am moving next. Alrighty, this I think might be the same exact guy. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. Well, we if he maybe he won't have triple AOE this time, but even then he's probably just gonna single target my uh, my melee. So that's gonna be fun too. So here's the AoE. All right, pretty typical. Into the AoE. All right, all right, and then he single targets. Okay, he single targets Gelda. That's probably enough damage to kill somebody. Okay, not quite a kill. So I guess that's something. <laughs> Uh, he only has he has two stacks already on Chandler, so I am kind of at a bad spot here. I'm gonna go for the triple attack because it'll give me three stacks, and then I'm gonna disable my melee, and that will give me my fourth stack if I can survive, which I highly doubt. So we shall see. He doesn't have stacks on melee, which is good. I I really want to stance there, but if I don't do that, I will lose. So Okay, ranking up. I can't see who he's attacking with because I'm using Monspeak Commandment, which I'm maybe regretting a little bit. Okay, that's pretty typical. Melee doesn't do a whole lot of damage when he doesn't have stacks. Okay, uh, I only have a single target, which is not great. Let's throw up the stance. We're going to AoE with Chandler. And then I'm going to kill off the Escanor. He has gold cards in hand, which I'm kind of scared about. This is going to throw up some stacks, though, for melee. Get rid of Escanor here. We're probably going to take some damage in return. Yep. He does have a decent, decent Escanor. Okay, not too much damage. He still has those gold cards in hand. Not pulling the best cards. He's... Got Merlin in the back, though, so that should actually put some stacks on for melee. Uh, and then I can potentially attack with Cusack. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you 
you know, uh, it is what it is. It's it's just kind of one of those things. I didn't have big expectations going into this, but so far, not great. I'm gonna wait a second before. Well, I guess I don't have to because now I'm in Champ Three, so we'll uh, <laughs> we'll we'll go again. I'm assuming at Champ Three I can maybe out CC, but we we'll, we shall see. All right, what do we got? Okay, human team, which means that my commandment actually might be helping out a bit, which is kind of cool. Um, um, I guess because of the Escanor cards, I do kind of want to stance here. I'm gonna double AOE with or with Gilda, so that way I can disable her for a stack for melee next turn, because then I can use an AoE, get my passive, and then single target somebody. Uh, we'll see how much damage he does here. I'm assuming he could probably still kill Chandler with Escanor. Like, I know... Well, I mean... I don't know. I have decent, like, HP related and stuff. He has to just move all of his cards right here to get Arthur's passive, so... Actually, not terrible. Um, let's go with this this and then this it is a two turn stance that i target i really hope i targeted i don't think i kill here yeah i don't quite kill there mm, that's a bit bad percival died okay i'm gonna gain a stack from that debuff but he hasn't used Escanor cards. He can infect me here as well. I think he's still got a pretty good setup. I don't. Maybe. Maybe this Chandler is just not. Either he's like meant to be like hardcore backliner, or he's just meant for other game modes. Because uh, so far the PvP performance is not really doing much for me. I didn't realize he had his ultimate. Alright. I mean, he's mono green here. Maybe Gelda can do something. How much of Gelda's passive do I have built up at this point? Ooh, level 3 AoE. Uh, okay, not quite maxed on the passive, so let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna disable her, though. Uh, maybe it's not the biggest deal. Uh, decent little chunk. Okay, he's down to two cards per turn. Gelda is really tanky. He's going to probably kill Cusack off here, so that way I'm down to one card per turn. Uh, I don't really like playing matches like this, so I'm not a big fan. Okay, he's actually doing more than I thought he was going to, and I don't have Tarmia Link on her, so she's dead. Eesh. Yikes. Maybe... Maybe geared PvP will be better, but so far I am not not a fan. <laughs> I do not like the Chandler so far. He even even at tanking, he's not really not really doing his job. So that's unfortunate. Oh boy, a Guild Wars outfit. Okay. I out CC somehow, so this is either a bot or I don't know. Um Let's do these two. Yeah, definitely a bot, which I guess is good for me, but, you know, that's something. I'm gonna lifesteal a little bit. Luckily, we don't have any sort of debuffs to put on for melee, which is nice. Um, I can AoE grab my ultimate. No, I won't actually be able to do that, because I don't have a debuff on. Okay, I mean, he he did tank the single target. I'm not incredibly impressed, because it almost killed him. I don't know, I just don't really... I just don't really understand the point of the character, maybe? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, am I, am I crazy? I just don't really understand it. I think we double single target onto Escanor. That's pretty good. Okay, good damage there. 
Uh, okay, yeah, he dies, so that's good, too. This is probably a 6-6 Escanor if he's got the Guild Wars outfit, if I had to guess. So that's going to do a decent chunk of damage to our team. Okay. Um, he can immediately stance cancel with Melee, which is unfortunate. And he is attacking with Melee. Merlin first, though. Okay, so, I mean, the stance cancel is not, like, incredibly... Like, an incredibly big deal. He's probably going to die, if I had to guess. Ooh, this is going to hurt, I think. Kills Melioff. God. I, dude, the damage reduction feels like it's not doing anything. I'll be honest. Like, it's actually kind of bad. Yikes, man. Uh... Does he have the Tarmiel link on? I assume he does. Ah, yikes. Oh, God. I am not loving this. He's there to make the festival units look better? I guess? I don't... That's not killing, unfortunately. Oh, boy. I'm gonna lose. Again. Against a bot. That's fantastic. Yikes. I hate this. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good, Dulce. Ugh. <laughs> Damage reduction, what's that? True. Yeah. Ah, okay. Alright. I mean, I guess that's something. Alright. What do we got? Okay, we get to go first, which is cool, I guess. Um, I... I want a stance, because I want him to be useful, but I just don't think it's actually working. I could... I can disable him, I guess. And grab my stacks that way. I don't know, man. I'm confused. I like the effect on his, his uh, stance, by the way. This actually does look really cool. But the looks don't really matter if it's not performing too well. Should we summon tonight or no? Uh, I would say no. Alright, so... Okay, I mean, he's tanking that. This is another bot, so it's not, like, impressive. But, you know, that's something, I guess. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I guess I should get rid of the Escanor. We'll get Chandler's ultimate here. I'm... I, even after we killed Escanor last time, uh, what you call it, Melly was able to come back, which was not good for us. So we'll see. Okay, we kill Escanor. That's good. Uh, if he has his original stats, then he ain't taking no new characters. That's exactly what I'm saying. Like I'm kind of, kind of at a loss here. Like I don't really understand what the what the point of making this unit was. I mean, maybe he's gonna be good for like using him regularly in Heroes Arena, maybe, or possibly here, uh, Guild Wars. I, I'll be honest, Guild Wars is pretty sweaty, so I don't actually think that this character would be good. Um, I don't know, just the damage reduction and the attack-related stats that he's giving our team really feel insignificant. So, uh, Melly has his ultimate, so that is epic. I don't think that there's much I can do here. That's not doing enough. Uh, okay, we kill his two side units off. Almost kill Melly there. We now have all creation, but this ultimate is really good. Okay, I think... I can scrape a win out here, but I am... Um, okay, he's back up to full, and he has all creation. Can I get a, get a win here, actually? I, I don't know. And he has all stats. I think I'm going to lose again, man. Ah, oh, my God. I don't know, man. It's a bit of a yikes. I'm not... Not happy. I, I guess we use the melee single target. That way we can get his ultimate and gain another defense-related stack. Okay, thank god. <laughs> thank god. Oh god. Oh, I pulled for Gilda and didn't have enough diamonds to get her, because uh, she was right after Chaos Arthur. I'm still mad about that. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. That is honestly fair. 
All right, let's throw one more ticket in so that way we do three of each, but God, this is bad. All right, well, we're going second, so this is automatically going to be a loss. Dude, his CC's bad. He can't tank very well. I mean, he, he takes okay. Ah, I don't know. I don't I don't understand the point of, of, of releasing this unit right now. Ay ay ay. Okay, he's using Monspeed Relic or Monspeed Commandment actually, so that's kind of cool. All right, let's watch myself get obliterated here. Okay, going for Melee. That kills. Into AOE. Okay, well, that is expected. We will stance, even though he can immediately get rid of that. And then we'll try to fight Escanor, I guess. I'm I'm at a loss. I really am. I have no idea what to say. Like, normally I can find some sort of redeeming factor about a character like this, but PvP performance-wise, <laughs> very bad. Like, not even, like, mediocre. Like, I just... <laughs> I don't think this character's useful. I don't know, man. I guess it just is what it is. If there's ever an event where you need to uh, to lose in PvP, he's your guy. I I think so. If anything, the silver lining here is that he has brought my my rank down, so I can play more PvP this week. And I don't actually want to consider that to be an upside. So, um, yeah. Well, he life stealed back up to full, so that's awesome. Uh, I can't. Can't debuff or else Melly gets uh, gets a win from that. Um, okay, doing a little bit of damage. Still can't kill him quite yet. We do life steal a decent amount back, but uh, I don't know. If you want to lose in PvP, you just use uh, Die Liz or Vraldrin. Weren't they bugged or something? Didn't I read that in the uh, the patch notes or something like that? They were apparently bugged during the Chaos PvP season. I'm not 100% sure on that. Is Red Chandler the first AoE drain? No, I don't think so. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think there's an older character that has an AoE drain as well. Could be. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure there is. Actually, no. Uh, Halloween Gother has a... Um, well, he has an, a Dissolve skill, so it's technically not, like, the same. Oh, my God. Halloween Easton. Oh, that's a good point, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, the dog is here. Hi. Red Hawk and Oslo. Also a good point. I forgot about him, and I just used him recently, so I should not have. And Blue Lilia. Yeah, definitely not the first AoE drain. Alright. I mean, I'll give him props. He's I he is he dead here? I think that's dead. Alright. Uh okay. I guess we'll use it in that order. Might as well. Because I can only use... Hey! What are you doing? Big little dude. Alright, we all right. so we get rid of Escanor. This is where it all turns around for us, right? Right? I doubt it. Okay. My hand is getting clogged. That's fantastic. You are Gother should have been an AoE drain in first skill. I mean, I don't know. I think he's fine where he is. He, he can do a little bit of damage, which is kind of nice. All right, we're getting screwed. Okay, yeah, I'm going to call it here. I'm going to... Good game. I'm leaving. I don't want to deal with this anymore. Uh, I'm going to draw the conclusion for myself that I do not like this unit. I do not think he is good. Uh, maybe if you guys have team suggestions or something, I'll try them out this week and see if I can make him work a little bit better. It's 100% going to have to be a going second team, though, which is 
not going to be fun. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. Either way, for the YouTube video, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already for more riveting gameplay of Chandler in the future, maybe. Uh, and, yeah, that's it.